Hello and welcome to Fallout New Vegas Hardcore Roulette Episode 3. Today we're crossing that bridge into Prim. I'm probably going to die because of those mines. And the raiders slash powder gangers beyond. There's going to be a bit less prep this time because I just want to steal a little bit of ammunition. Before, Thank you for going forward more than I wanted you to. I'd want to steal a bit of ammunition to make sure I'm as prepared as I can be. I'm going to struggle to get that one I think. Oh. Ooh, can I get it? Can I just get it? That's pickpocketing. Oh, there it is. There it is. NCR armor as well. That's so heavy. I can't hold that right now. And I'm overweight. Oh, of course. I forgot I'm had weight in this. Oh, I need to be thinking about that. Oh, I'm an idiot. Right. Okay, so this is me from the future just explaining the magnitude of what just happened there. I was actually pickpocketing that NCR trooper. And if that had gone wrong, the NCR soldier there would have potentially started shooting me. That could have turned the NCR against me, and that could have essentially killed me right there at the start of the third episode. Big yikes. So, there are three mines, just three. We're going to try and get them. We're going to crouch down so we're at the level, and it's easier to hit them. We're going to run in, and we've got to commit, otherwise our legs will be blown off either way. Got that one. And I'm overweight. <laughs> That's two of them taken out. And the third one, don't mess up now. We've done it. Brilliant. But now I need to figure out again what my most powerful weapon is for taking out a group of enemies. In terms of DPS, it will probably be Probably, I can't speak. Probably be the 9mm submachine gun. But in terms of stopping power, it could be something like the caravan shotgun. What I might do is go up into that house, uh, place some mines off uh, powder charges, then start shooting down at them and wait for them to run into my uh, trap I've set them. That might be a good idea. The ones that I know about that do spawn in this area are in front of the uh, casino around this sort of area here. But I think they're slightly hidden behind, but if I go up here. Oh. This has already gone wrong. No, stop, stop, stop. That's danger. Okay, let's run behind here. Quickly as we can. Maybe the frag mines are still a good idea. Right, let's throw one down. Because they're probably going to come to me. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I got out of range. I'm going to take the submachine gun out. No. Uh, taking him down. I don't know where the other one is. So I might have to be careful. I, how am I hidden? There's two of those guys. If one saw me and heard all the shooting, how did not the other one not? So if one heard me and came at me, how did the other one not hear his friend being shot at? That's what I meant there. It's ridiculous. I'll take it, but it's ridiculous. So I took one out. With a frag mine and some good luck. What I should have done is gone the back way into this building, I think. Because this is the one I want to be in with the stairs. But it might be too late. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to get out the varmint rifle. Sneak up these stairs. If I can. And because this is a weapon that I can aim more accurately, or so I hope... I should have a better chance of uh, zeroing on the guy and getting a good shot on him. Oh, oh, he's moving. Maybe I can get him in there. No, good chest shot from here. Only in caution. Oh, he's gone back to hit it straight away. Did he go inside? No, but he's down to low health. Another one or two shots will take him out. If I can just get him anywhere in his body, his legs will do at this point. I'll be so happy with that. Oh, he's there. A leg shot coming in. No, he's moved. <laughs> it's like playing Sniper Elite. There we are. Miss. Hit. I think. Okay, just stay out of sight. Get him. And that's a headshot to take him out. Get in there. But I believe, apart from someone that sometimes spawns up there, 
the only two enemies that spawn are these two fellas. I'm still overweight, but I think there's a trader in here. I think Johnson Nash is a trader, even though he's not at his shop yet. And welcome everybody to the Vicky Advance. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. A lot of package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order, you can show me. So, I'm going to ask him what he knows about the delivery order. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was strange about it, Johnson? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chest piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. So, after talking to Jonathan Nash and nattering about a few things, we need to talk to Deputy Beagle to find out who shot me in the head and where they've gone. Because he might know. Unfortunately, he's been held by raiders across the way. Oh no, come back. I actually exited the conversation. He's leaving and I want to trade with him. Please come back. Johnson. Please, 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 please. I'm going to take a risk that he's going to turn around that corner. I'm going to grab him. Yes! Hey, Do you have anything for sale? Thank you very much. I think I'm going to sell all my melee weapons because if I'm in melee range, I should be using a shotgun and I shouldn't be in melee range. Apart from the shovel, because I need to go back up to Good Spring Cemetery at some point. I'm going to turn down the 9mm pistol because the gun that I want to consume 9mm ammo is a submachine gun. I'm going to keep the revolver around because it does the highest per shot damage, so for sneak attacks it would be good if I can get up close to somebody. The 9mm submachine gun is definitely the highest DPS, but the laser pistol is still good for a goatee weapon. Bang. And that's the trade made! And we're going to steal from this safe while we can. Hidden. Sledgehammer's valuable. So the Tyrones, take that and take that. Brilliant. Because I stole them from him, I can't sell them back to him, understandably. Uh, let's just leave. As terrifying as it is, I believe it is time to continue to the Vicky and... Sorry, the Bison Steve Casino. Not the Vicky events, that's where I just was. The hotel, actually, isn't it? There's two. What I'm going to do is something risky here, and throw a dynamite, I think. Oh, this is risky already. If I can get myself over to this rubble here, I can just think about what I'm doing a little bit. There's definitely two. I saw one. Oh, shice. I've been seen or heard or something by this guy. Okay, so if he's not going to see me, I might get my varmint rifle out and have a go at him. Or my revolver, because that does higher damage per second. That was the whole point, wasn't it? No, high, higher damage on its own per shot. Which is what you need for sneak attacks. Oh, get in there, son. Easy terminal, which I can't hack yet, because I'm terrible. Hard door, which I can't pick yet, because I'm, I'm never going to get that, let's be honest. What I'm worried about now, more than anything, is if the guy there comes back around the corner or sees the body of his friend, which he seems to be on the move. That was bad. That was really bad. I didn't get the sneak attack I needed, and he's probably gone off to get friends. Um, yikes. I don't know why everyone's running from me. I'm going to get behind cover. Get behind cover. And hopefully we'll go back to caution. It is strange that everyone's running from me. I mean... 
I've had a few people run away from me now. I mean, some have come towards me as well, but the uh, powder ganger outside did as well. Oh, I aimed loads of shots into his chest and he's gone down. And I believe that is our first helmet of the game, which we need to put on right now. Make sure we're reloaded. Floor safe hard. Great. Nothing useful to me then. Oh, shit. Right, varmint rifle this time. Go for his head in the sights and go. Good headshot. Get in. We need to stay this well, as far to this side as we possibly can. Oh no, we don't have the lockpick to get to the maintenance door. We have to go through the normal way. Oh no. Oh no, we can't boost that up either, I don't think. I was going to try and avoid that room altogether, but now I've got to go directly through it. I always, always, always go through that side entrance. This is not good. Right. <laughs> so, a bit of background here to what's gone on. So, I had to stop recording at this point to do life things. And I've recorded 20 minutes beyond this point. While I'm talking about this, I'm going to go and get that skill magazine I forgot about. But about 20 minutes into that recording, I uh, got a message from a computer on the other screen. That message said, Computer's a uh, marine loan storage space. Should probably do something about that. So I paused the recording and stopped my audio recording and, and went over and checked it and I'd completely run out of space. I checked what, how much of the video had loaded, uh, saved, and it was 37 seconds. So let's redo this. So I'm going to do the same plan as last time because it did work quite well. I'm going to sneak up to this bit. I'm going to put two powder charges down. One. Two. Then I'm going to backtrack to here. And I'm going to put two more powder charges down. Then, I'm going to take out my varmint rifle. I'm going to get over to this point here. And I'm going to start sniping them off as well as I can. Try and get as many headshots as I can. And I believe there'll be three or four. If I'm in caution, I backtrack to here. And hopefully they don't come out of there. But I've always got this backtrack, this um, backstop. If not, so I should be okay. The reason I've got an open one there is because now I've placed those mines down, it's going to be difficult for me to go out of that door. Because if I go there and there's a guy on the other side, there's the chance that I'm going to be blown up. But this one I can still use. With relative safety. I'll get the guy standing up first. No, I won't, because he's the leader. Shit. Run back behind the mines. Behind the powder charges. But do it while crouched so they don't see you. It's a genius move, you see. Genius. Try again. That's him taken down. And we're going to move straight back to the left and back because he knows his friend's just been killed. Or he should do if he's not stupid. And we're going to reload this gun in case we need it. We're back to hidden. Now let's get the shot on this fella. He's not down, but he's been shot in the head, so there's a good chance he'll come for us. So let's keep backtracking. We're in danger. Right, run back. The charges might get him, but we're going to stand here. I'm going to switch to our laser pistol. I was thinking the revolver, but I know how inaccurate I am with that gun. He's got his incinerator out. The charges didn't go off. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
on fire. Not in the good way. Well, that's a cool effect of a gun, at least. Oh, 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 Okay, <laughs> he didn't do that last time. He he tried to attack him with his pistol. Oh, oh god, that was genuinely quite scary. I know there's a guy in this room here, so I'm gonna snipe him. He's just with Deputy Beagle, and Bob is your uncle. Something I discovered last time as well was that I can, in fact, cook gecko steaks. But I need higher survival. So getting higher survival wasn't actually a bad thing. And it is probably going to be something that I need to do. Uh, I mean, I don't have a choice in it, obviously, because that's the rule set. But it's not something that I'm actively going to hate getting if I do roll it. I'm going to talk to Deputy Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you may have some information. I'm going to sneeze and not just pause it for effect. Ah. <laughs> I hear you may have some information on some cards that passed through here. That's close enough. And a guy with a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. To be honest, I did read most of that while blind. Because I was sneezing. But <laughs> I'll free you right after you tell me. I'm sure you mean well. But I'm afraid you'll have to wait until I'm in a calmer emotional state before my memory is going to function. Fair enough. Can you tell me about the people who passed through town now? I'm no. I've already had that line. Right, I'm going to set him free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Yeah, and this time, like, I don't want to do anything differently and sort of learn from my mistakes because that would seem unfair. So I could have got this speech check if I'd have thought about it last time. And I knew this time if I put the vault suit and I'd have got to it. But I didn't last time, so I'm going to stick to it this time. But also, I don't want to go upstairs and deal with the people up there because... There's not enough good loot for me to justify it uh, on a permadeath run when I'm not really set up as I want to be. So we're just going to cut him loose. Uh, and I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside. How many purified waters do we have? Twelve. We're doing better than last time, in fact, because last time I got to this point, I might have used one in a fight, but I think, if I remember rightly, I had eleven. But we need to drink one anyway, so we're going to be down to eleven. In this one as well. I'm going to drink two because I think that puts us down to like zero. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing you did miss out on. I attacked someone I shouldn't have attacked um, outside and messed up quite badly. So I'll not make that mistake again. That, <laughs> that one I'm going to let myself learn from. What I am going to learn from is Malcolm Holmes over there. So I'm going to run right over here right now. Take him behind the bins. Come on, Malk. Where are you, son? There he is. Oh no! Ah, uh, forgot about the guys up there. Hello there. Oh no! Don't suppose you care to try. Right, I've screwed this up <laughs> even worse than last time. But Malcolm Holmes is essentially saying to me that he collects star bottle caps, and I should be careful if I've started collecting them because they're dangerous. But I've taken him down. Because I want his star bottle caps. I put myself in a situation here. And I get all his barter gear, which is good gear. Right, we need to... Probably run away from this fight. I don't want to risk it. It would be silly to risk it, really. I'm going to take my millimeter machine gun. And I'm going to run away. I'm going to run away. Bobby pin, I'll take that. As fast as I can. Imagine, I can't really use bobby pins. I'll put myself overweight again. Yes, I'm in caution now. That's fine. So I'm going to put my barter gear on. Sell as much stuff as possible to Johnson Nash. The incinerator, as fun as it would be, 
I can't justify keeping around. It's so heavy for what it is. A 10mm pistol, maybe. Its DPS is quite good. 11 damage per shot. 30 DPS. I'm going to get that 10mm pistol, I think. Which means we're giving him a bunch of money, so we need to make up that money somewhere. I'm going to give him 11 dynamites. Which puts us about onto level there. I'm going to sell my dirty waters. I know it's, I've got them as a backup as a minute, but they are sort of dead weight because I'm not using them. Yes, that's acceptable. Let's go. Pleasure doing business with. I rescued Deputy be Beagle. Safer already. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's still more of them powder gangers out there than I care to count. What we need around here is a real sheriff. Someone who can help fight off the next attack. So we need to find the next uh, sheriff for Prim. Uh, if I remember rightly, there's three possible outcomes to this. You can either reprogram this guy, uh, Prim Slim. You can get uh, a guy from the NCRCF, the NCR Correctional Facil Facility, the prison where the powder gangers came from, uh, that used to be a sheriff and was locked up. Or you can get the NCR. I am friendly with the powder gangers in the NCRCF, I believe, because um, I was told to go there by Joe Cobb because I work with them. So it might be a good idea to get the guy from there. And I genuinely think that's the best ending as well. Like, that's the best guy to do the job. From what I remember, I could be wrong, but... Yes. So I'm going to probably do that. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? He did literally nothing. He didn't kill a single person. He walked out when I cleared everybody out. Ridiculous. Can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon. Gathering information on some of the powder gangers when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit They were talking about some delivery. They took from a courier. I assume that was you They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there And we've done that so we've got to head to Nipton via Novak No, <laughs> Novak via Nipton. I read those in them That order rather than the order I need to say them in So, what are you talking about? You're the sheriff now, because this is the other quest to find the sheriff of Prim. Oh no, I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. So I'm going to bring Law and Order back to Prim. You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. Sun's out, gun's out, I suppose. The sun's not out, but my gun's out. But my guns aren't out. But right there's a the cowboy repeater, which should be quite a bit more powerful than my varmint rifle but it's in very low condition however i've got a weapon repair kit which i'll save for this very occasion and that puts it up to a better damage and a decent dps i'm not going to use it quite yet i'm going to stick with uh things that have more ammo in but I might switch away from using the 3.7... 3, sorry, I keep saying 3.75. The 0.357 uh, to use in this gun rather than the Magnum, because it's got a nice sight on it. So we have the 10mm pistol out for now. And the last thing we'll be doing in Prim for this second is... Oh, we're not allowed in here. To Deputy Beagle's residence. I will steal all this out of his fridge. I normally probably wouldn't bother with that, but... This being survival, I feel the need to. A very easy gun case. That's something we can lock for once. 
Oh, I'll take all that. Brilliant. And I think it's just about time we head over to the prison. Which, I can't remember exactly where it is. Oh, it's over there. Right. So if we travel up to the Jean Skydiving again, which I looted off screen last time. Uh, follow this road. So this road down here. And then back over there. I believe there's some dogs over the way, and I believe around this area there are some hostile powder gangers. So I'll take them off from a distance. Back down the road to where we came from. I don't want to start killing people that could be on my side, but they've always been hostile to me, and I've got a feeling I don't know what to do. Okay, they they seem to be in green, so I'm just going to cut across here in case they decide to turn hostile. Yeah, I'm just going to walk around and hope they don't they don't turn on me because I don't want any bad blood with the powder gangers. The dice have a 50-50 chance of deciding that I will side against the Powder Gangers with the NCR. So where are those dogs? I, I'm so sure that they exist. That's why I'm sticking so close to this, this mountainside here. I can't see them. I'm sort of looking at the top of my screen, scanning the horizon. See if we can see them there, but I, I can't. I'm going to try and just get to that entrance there, to the prison. And then I'm going to call that safe then, because I'll have protection. I'll have somewhere they can dart into after the conversation. It's not them, is it? Oh! <laughs> I walked right past them. Honestly, I'm not going to mess. I'm not going to mess with them. You might have experience I'm going to get compared to the danger of some, like, three fast moving enemies that can probably do a decent amount of damage to a low-level character isn't worth it. So we're going to discover this facility, we're going to talk to the guy on the door who's going to let us in hopefully because we've worked with Mr. Cobb. Doors. Look at you. Walking in here like you're one of us. Don't you know this is Powder Ganger territory? I did know this was Powder Ganger territory. What's in this place? Sorry, what is this place? This? This is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. Can I go in? Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. 100 caps sounds right to me. I'm gonna pay the bribe of the, the hundred caps because I have that money. I've made it, so that is absolutely fine. I talk to Mayors, who's right here. What's my story? My story is what did you do before you were incarcerated? That's not my story, is it, son? I was a sheriff, believe it or not, for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did. But I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. I forgot I need to do this and get this guy a pardon, so I am going to do it, but he's got a deal. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. Star bottle cap, certainly something I want. Got it. You just want to talk to me over here, fella. Hey, I've been sent to tell you that while you're not exactly a friend, we know you've helped us out some all the same. We figure some kind of truce is in order. As long as you don't come too close to any of our camps, we'll let you pass without trying to kill you. Of course, the truce is off once we know you're an enemy. Oh, that's interesting. I've never had that before. See ya. 
Eddie, 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 Eddie. Let's go up and talk to that fella. Let's do some of his things. Or at least start that quest line off. I can't pick that door. Don't want to steal anything. Let's just talk to Mr. Eddie here. said he let somebody in. So you going to give me a reason not to kill you and throw your body back outside? Um, not really, now. What's he need done? This is Powder Ganger territory. My territory. Most of the guys around here understand that. One, Chavez doesn't. Chavez formed his own crew and have been hitting traitors on their own. Everybody I've sent after him either got killed or weren't able to catch him. That leaves you. What do you say? Good. Chavez and his boys were last seen south of here. If you're lucky and he's careless, he might still be there. Right, so I'm not sure what the speech check is for him. I'm pretty sure there's a speech check. Yeah, get out of here. Ah, right, because if I get too close to him and fail that, that could end up backfiring and getting me killed. Oh, no. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like at this stage of the game, you're probably going to get into, like, higher than 25. And I can only get to 25. Do I have anything that boosts me any further than that? Like, the charisma stuff will boost me a little bit. But probably not anywhere near enough. Oh, maybe I'll come back to this. Right now, I don't think I've got the speech for it. Like, it's it's so unlikely for me to get the right stuff. <sighs> Maybe I just take Chavez out from a distance. Oh, no. That's prim tight, isn't it? Right, I fought the law. Where is Chavez? I know he's somewhere in this direction. I've never taken these out. I've always, always done the speech check. I can't see them. Oh, there's someone yes there. If I go up to them and fail the speech check, then I'm in trouble. What's their health like? So, Chavez. Ooh, they're looking pretty dangerous. Is it just three or is it four? What's my escape plan if this goes wrong? I think we'll run over there. Maybe run back to the, the camp, actually. R yeah, run over the hill back to the camp. So. I think it's time to try shooting. That took him out in one shot. Let's just retreat right now. Uh, uh, I'll bloody take that, you know. Honestly, I don't really care about the loot. I oh, could try and take out the other fellas. That'd be best for business, wouldn't it? Okay, I'll get back to that rock. And have a better go at this. Because if I can take Chavos out with a one shot, I can take them all out with one shot, surely. Got him, and he went through something, which is quite terrifying, honestly. He seems to be dead too. Okay, so that went better than expected. We are getting powerful enough to sneak attack some characters now. And I think that's all of them. We're not in danger. I don't see anybody else around. So we've discovered the little camp. We're going to take the dynamite. And we're going to search them. To be honest, it doesn't look like there was a lot that was actually useful, but I'm still glad I did it, just for the dynamite, one, and two, because uh, there could have been something. Like I, I would have been guessing and thinking, oh no, what if I'd done that? Get that trooper helmet, certainly. Repair my powder ganger armor, take all that. Oh no. <laughs> um, there's a powder ganger right there that I didn't somehow notice. Haha. <laughs> Let's just um go behind him. Stand still. You're not detecting me, you know you're not. You can't see me. You can't see anything. You don't know where I am How does he know where I am? 
Literally. Literally. Who else can see me here? Oh, detected me then. Oh, right. No, oh, hidden detected. Hidden. Yes! So there was a fourth, and I was being blind thinking he was dead all the time, but he was literally just sleeping. <gasps> Dino toy! I don't know why I just took a leather belt. Like, again, I took it. Keep taking leather belts. Right, let's pop back to the NCRCF. 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 I've been thinking that since you've been good to us, we can be good to you. Ooh. We've got plenty of spare powder and dynamite around. Say the word, and we can give you some of it every couple days. Hell yeah, give me some dynamite. Chef has been dealt with. Or have you got any available? There we go. I'm happy you cleared that up for me. But we've got another situation to worry about. There's a merchant hanging around near the prison. Something feels funny about him, and I want you to deal with him. Shake him down if he's legit, but if not, take him out. Right. So the merchant is suspicious, and we are liked by the powder gangers. Yeah. Um, have I get lost? What's wrong with me? But after I've gone back to the NCRCF to talk to Eddie. I'm gonna to want to travel back to Prim to do his other bit, of, the other bit of this quest for him, or I might stop it and decide to do it the other way. Then I think that'll be a dice roll, and I need to turn in the uh, quest for uh, the sheriff by getting the pardon from the NCR. If I can sneak past these, that would be very, very good. The bloke flies don't seem to have seen me. I know the experience will be good right now to level up, but honestly, fast moving enemies this run, I don't. No, no. So I think this guy I'm going to approach and talk to. If he. If I can't talk him down, I'll just say goodbye. Because he doesn't necessarily know who I'm working with. Better be careful around these parts. I hear there's powder gang. Intelligence 6 traveling a life for a merchant. Yes. Intelligence 6 has saved me on this one. Well, you see, I... Fuck. I'm really a bounty hunter trying to catch some powder gangers. But they probably saw through me just like you did. They did. I've been hanging around, hoping to ambush some of them, but haven't had any success. Some right there. <sighs> you better leave while you can. I'm not going to risk fighting him. was a stupid idea anyway. See you around. The worst thing about this run is going to be me having to walk between every single bit. Especially if we're doing the Brotherhood. And stuff like that. I nearly got turned around again, but I realised where I was going this time. Like the Brotherhood ones, the walking in that is going to be so bad. We have to make sure I do as much as I can in one location at a time. I got rid of him, the trader. Good. Had him figured for NCR, one of the Rangers, maybe. Anyway, speaking of the NCR, I need you to take a walk down to Prim. The NCR hasn't raised hell over our breakout, and I want to find out why. They're up to something. I can feel it. There's a sniper up there. So I'm going to try and stay over here so he doesn't shoot at me, because that could be dangerous, so. And we're going to pick up this uh, barrel catcher's fruit. Is that the sniper there? Is he walking with me? He might know where I am. No, he doesn't seem to. It might just be his patrol route tracking me accidentally. Jalapenos. I don't think I've ever seen this stuff before. I don't go here. Eek. Oh, Gecko. I'm playing dangerously here, really. Just walk through the middle of the wilderness. Right, let's just keep going this way. Dead bloke flight. I mean, if it's dead, that's not trying to trouble me, is it? White horse now. I've honestly never heard of some of these plants because I don't go into the wilderness on this game. There's never really a reason to. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Uh, do you have any plans to attack? Uh, Prim is a day and need some law. We'll do that first. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. I'll look for another solution, and I thought that's what I was trying to tell you, but... Does the NCR have any plans to attack the prison? Military operations are classified information. The brass is familiar with the situation at the NCRCF. The 
trolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Oh my god, stop. So why couldn't I talk to L Lieutenant Hayes there? Is it because I don't have NCR phone? Oh no, I need to give a... Oh no. The pardon comes from all the way up there, doesn't it? Can't get it from this guy. Box. Right, okay. Let's talk about the NCLCF thing then. Hearing that line over and over again makes me wish for a nuclear winter. And into the big game, and we go! Oh, -ho. Are the NCR planning to attack the prison north here? I mind those. <sighs> right, let's put my Barty gear on because that would help him. That would help me get through this. And a roving trader. Hey, youngster. Plus 10 barter, my babish. Right, I could see giving you 50 caps. I swore not to say a word to no one, but an NCR deserter passed through some days ago and traded for supplies. According to him, supplies. the NCR has decided enough's enough and is going to send in a mess of troops to take back the prison any day now. So, I know exactly what's going on there, but now we have our decision for the episode. Are we going to A, or 1, <laughs> uh, report back to Eddie with the information on the NSR's planned attack, or are we going to betray Eddie, which is number 2? Give me a random number between 1 and 2. 1. Well then, it looks like we are sticking with the powder gangers, which is bad. That's not good. I don't think that I have to actually shoot any of the NCR to do that. I think... I can tell him that, and then they'll just sort of run past, but I don't know. What if I get shot by the NCR, and what if I make it through the mission, and the NCR have negative bounty towards me, and I've got to make it all the way to Vegas to get the karma reset? Oh, no. Join me next time on the next episode of Fallout New Vegas Hardcore Roulette, when we find out just how old die to the NCR. Ah. <laughs>